Note, all items obtained in this video are after defeating the Pokemon League. Any items given to the player during the main story will not be included. On screen is a list of items we'll find in this video and the requirements needed to get them. You'll need to defeat the Route Kahuna, have Tauros Ride, register a Rockruff, and be playing at night to get all of the items. For the sake of clarification, the area covered in this video is highlighted on screen now. This also includes Melee Melee Meadows. Starting on the west side of Route 3, you'll notice the path divides into three different directions. We'll take the one that heads north first, and that'll bring you to this area of the cliff that has grass and a heel ball sitting for you to take. That's it for this little cliff area, so we're going to head back over here and come where that three split road thing is from the other side. We're going to dodge this Spiro shadow here, here and find a little stardust in this little uh, cove area. And we're going to head back out and now go to the third and final area over here, dodging the same Spiro to find a sharp beak sitting there visible for you. After that, we're going to head south and find Melee Melee Meadows. Since we're here, we might as well stop by. First thing you're going to do is head into the yellow flowers, and on this rock, on the left side, you're going to find honey. Then we're going to come up here and find a great ball. Head back into these yellow flowers, and you're going to find some more honey over here. I head over here on the ramp in this video, and you can find a net ball. But we're going to go back into the yellow flowers real quick and find some yellow nectar. You can only find this yellow nectar at nighttime. Then we're going to go back onto this area and hop off this ledge back here. This rock has another honey for you to pick up. Then we're going to make our way to the left, up this natural ramp, and over here to the left again. You'll find some more yellow nectar, which again can only be found at nighttime. Then, lastly, you'll find a poison barb. When you're done, that's it for Melee Melee Meadows. So we're going to head over here next to Sightseer and hop off the ledge and exit. Back to the Route 3 shenanigans, we're going to head to the right side, and you'll find a farmer guy, breeder guy, over here, and he's just going to give you a Sooth Bell. It's sort of interesting, there's an awkward pause when he hands you the Sooth Bell, which I believe there may have been, uh, you know, he may have intended to have a handing you an item animation, but he didn't get one. Um, then switch to your Tauros Ride, break through those boulders, and pick up TM83 Infestation. That's it for this side over here, so we're going to come back to the bridge area and talk to this ace trainer. This guy is the Route Kahuna. If you don't know what that means, that means you need to defeat every trainer here in Route 3 to battle him and get his red card. Once you're done with that, we're going to head down the bridge. There's going to be a super potion to the right. We're going to keep going south following the main road, and you'll find a nice little area over here with the berry tree and a netball sitting by itself overlooking Kala'e Bay. It's a nice view over here. Lastly, we're going to talk to this sightseer guy over here, and he's going to ask you to see a rock rough. So you need to go catch one, have one registered in your decks. Uh, you can find them in 10 Carat Hill. And once you show him that rock rough, he's going to pay you with 3,000 polka dollars. Now, there are some things of note. The yellow nectar does repeat daily. You can consistently get it from those two same spots we saw. And also, you might be able to find um, Stardust in the boulders that we destroyed with Tauros Ride. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and Techno's out.